I think if you look at the world today, there's actually like a fundamental shortage of software developers. There's a lot more demand for software in the world um, than there are developers to build it. And so it's really important to find ways for developers to focus on building what's most important for them. Hello everybody, super excited to join you here today from Mux headquarters where we're gonna have a conversation around video. All right, John, tell us how ubiquitous video has become in our lives. Yeah, uh, amazingly, video is actually the number three thing that people do with their time. Humans sleep first, uh, work second, watch video third, and then everything else is like category four. Number three, are you counting teenagers? Because I think it was for teenagers, probably like number one or number two, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. Yeah. yeah. Well, most of us think about video, or certainly when I think about video, I think about kind of, you know, the end user, the consumer, and certainly from a Google perspective, we've got a great brand. But, you know, what we are really finding is how video is becoming pervasive across all fabrics of business, including the developer experience. Can you tell us a little, little bit around kind of what you're seeing and the kinds of things that you're doing to serve that audience? Yeah, yeah, when you think about video um, and what video is, it's really just a really high bandwidth way of communicating something. Um, you can communicate more in like 10 seconds of video than you can in with images or text or a lot of things. So we think video is actually just really a primitive of the future of the internet. The challenge is it's really hard for developers to build with video. One way to think about it is if you want to put an image online, you just kind of put an image online, it's not a big deal. If you want to put video online, you actually kind of have to build really complicated software. You have to have great video delivery, maybe a CDN or multiple CDNs in the mix. You have to do have a lot of compute power, a lot of processing of video, uh, video encoding, things like that. And we think that actually holds back people from doing exciting things with video. That, that's why we exist. We think most companies should not have to hire video experts if you want to stream video. You should just be, be able to be a general developer and build a great video experience. We turn all those hard problems into like one API call for developers. And we do it building on top of the Google Cloud Platform. You know, the, the, the power that you have with YouTube, we want to bring that power to any business that wants to, uh, to work with video. It's awesome. Thank you for your trust and confidence, uh, John. And it's so exciting to be a part of the journey with you. And, and give me some thoughts on kind of why you chose Google Cloud. Yeah, um, we had some prior experience with actually most of the, the major clouds. And one of the things we liked about Google Cloud was just some of the more advanced technology. I think you can really see some of the Google heritage coming through in the way networking is done, the way servers are provisioned and deployed and run. And so, you know, we're, we're beneficiaries of some of that. You know, John, as we've been talking about, Mux and Google have kind of a shared vision about the developer experience. You know, from a Google point of view, we've been on a journey, and specifically from a Google Cloud point of view, we've been on a journey to really transform and simplify the developer experience with the tool sets, the capabilities, the innovation platform we're bringing to market for them. And when I complement that with some of the things that you're bringing out, I'm so excited about the things that we can do together. So John, can you give us some perspectives on perhaps how you were able to serve customers as the pandemic arose and how you're continuing to serve them and help them accelerate as we come out on the other side? There is a lot that happened during the pandemic that's gonna stick around. People, people like being able to go to an event in person as well as be able to go to the events maybe online. Uh, and so I think there's a lot of innovation that happened that's exciting there. Um, we've seen a number of our customers, like Oak National was a platform that was built, I think they actually amazingly stood up the platform in six days when the pandemic hit. I think it was a group of teachers who came together and said, how are we going to educate kids right now? They had a really acute and important job to do during the pandemic. Um, but now they're transitioning to say, how can we continue to help with primary or supplementary education? Lots of others too. Uh, we have a joint customer called Maestro who does live events. Early on in the pandemic, we did some really big major concerts live streamed when no one was able to go to shows in person. But they've really done super interesting things around creators being able to talk to audiences and to create videos. So it's a super interesting platform. So John, congratulations on your success and ultimately Mux's success. And I think to that end, are there insights and perspectives you could provide to other CEOs, CTOs, and other entrepreneurs that might be a little bit earlier in their journey? Yeah, um, I'll say two things. Um, the, the first just sounds obvious, but it's really the most important thing if you're gonna start something, and that's just spend a lot of time talking to customers. Go, go to them with a growth mindset. Uh, when they say no, that's actually some of the best uh, learnings you can have. So spend a ton of time with the customers. And the other is um, grow yourself. 
as a leader. If you're a startup founder, um, it's easy to spend all your time just trying to get the business to the next level, but you have to grow as well. So I'll say for us, we're about 150 people today. And you know, I've had a couple times I've had to change my approach to being a CEO. Um, and I've had to learn a lot as we've gone. Um, and uh, it's not always easy, but it's really important to grow as, as a leader. John, those have been some great insights. So for those of you that are looking to transform the engagement with your customers, elevate the power of video, check out Mux on Google Cloud's Marketplace. And thank you so much for watching today.